Monday, the Bengals take on the Browns and fans yelling who day will likely be heard at First Energy Stadium. Boy, they better be heard. Oh, they will be. And, and have you ever thought, though, about how the who day chant began? Reporter Taylor Nimmo is diving into the history of the iconic chant. You hear it every game day after every touchdown. But where did it all start? That's a tough one. It's hard to say exactly how it started. They, they had the fight song and that stuff, and they had that. And then after every touchdown, you know, you went into that. That wasn't the way no. it was years ago. But WCPO 9 sports legends John Popovich and Dennis Jansen could tell you when it started. Now, I remember it really starting in the 1981 season, the first Super Bowl, mm -hmm. and starting to hear that thing. And you'd be walking to the stadium and you would you would hear these people chanting and I have no idea where the origins were. Different stories have been passed down of how the Bengals chant was born. Some believe who day derived from who to pull beer. Our story that was told to us is that Hootie Delight was a fan favorite at most of the uh, stadiums around the town, Crosley Field, Riverfront Stadium. And when people would yell out their drink order. Hootie, went to Hootie. Hootie. Eventually, Hootie and Who Day morphed together. The Hootie beer um, from the concessionaires was uh, was then spun into Who Day um, and, and still kind of lived today. Who Day was commemorated on Hootie Delight cans in 1981, 1988, and again during last season's trip to the Super Bowl. But, but who would have thought that a beer could could kind of morph into a, such an iconic phrase? Some will argue Who Day derived from a chant in New Orleans. Who that? Yeah, that's what I've always heard. We would never accede to that, but, you know. And others would tell you who day actually came first. Who that, I think, goes back to 1983 is, is what I heard. So, you know, knowing that Hootapole put out the cans in 1981 with the who day saying certainly kind of leads you to believe that Cincinnati was first in the fight for the who day or who that chant. Little by little, everybody old, new, whatever, they knew it was, you know, it was coming and that stuff, and it was it was just the exciting part about being part of that team. Taylor Nemo, WCPO 9 News. I thought great to see Popo and, of course, Denny Jansen there. You, you can catch the Bengals versus the Browns game right here on WCPO 9, if we haven't said it enough. Our pregame <laughs> coverage on Monday starts at 7. Afterwards, we'll break down all the highlights. The postgame sound will have all of it for you.